So hey guys, I'm back with another video. So tonight's video is yet again another Chama Chats video podcast edition. So by the title, we're going to be discussing Chicago rapper Lil Durk saying that he will not cuff or marry a girl who is passed around or has a high body count. Now, I wanted to discuss this because obviously this is a double standard against men and women. But I think the nuttiest part about this is that young people are so mesmerized by these rapper relationships and they have become a pinnacle in urban media all while spewing the most volatile examples of love. So India Royale is the fiance and child's mother to Lil Durk and they have been together since 2017 and share one kid. India has a daughter from a previous relationship and Dirk, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how many kids he has at this point. I'm sure one of y'all will let me know in the comment section down below. I just know that India is baby mama number six and there's always so many rumors and blogs alleging that he has outside babies that he doesn't claim and that he continuously cheats and procreates with other women. Now that's completely hearsay but honestly I I would not be surprised if it was true. A man with that many kids and that many baby mothers, I mean, it's kind of hard for me to believe that you learned your lesson with baby mama number six. So these two have been revered as couples goals within their five-year relationship and as big as Lil Durk has become in music and I'm sure as much as the temptation remains prominent from other women, he decided to ask her for her hand in marriage. The two evenly recently had an engagement party and are headed to the altar. I will say, on popular opinion, I actually think that they will get married. Many other rapper relationships i just don't see them making it to the altar like honestly pretty much none of them but i'll give this one the benefit of the doubt and say that i do think that they'll end up at the altar so lil dirk has been doing some press and was interviewed by wallow on his show and lil dirk was asked what he loved about india and basically he said that he's very petty and he really prioritizes low body counts and someone who hasn't been passed around and ran through and me I ain't gonna lie, i'm petty as hell like if you fuck a lot of niggas all that i ain't gonna wife that's me I that's was, me too. I, I, yes, I, I, I wake up in the middle of the night, get mad over shit four years ago. Like, yeah, that's just that's me. me too, nigga. Yeah. yeah, but it's like everything about it, like being real, not cheating. She ain't been passed around, and it was like a body count. That's what really did. <sighs> okay, so my, this, this is why my, this my favorite youngin. <laughs> no, but this, you see, this why my motherfucking yeah. favorite fucking youngin, man. <laughs> So I thought this was really interesting. I thought the responses were also interesting. And I think there's something to be said about both sides of his commentary and people's reactions. So I've broken this video down into two main talking points. So let's get right into this video. So point number one is, should India be mad? So the reason I asked this question is because when this was posted to the blog, it's on site. Shout out to them. Y'all know that's my favorite blog. The caption read, imagine your fiance being asked what he loves about you. And the first thing he brings up is your body count, etc. Not your personality not your loyalty, not your sacrifices to him, but your past relations. Hearing this from my man would not turn me on at all, especially when his past is the opposite. So India responded and said, good thing he is my man. And then she followed up and said, I don't give a phalange about what people think about my fiance. That's why he mine. Get you one. So before I answer whether or not India should be mad, let's just be real. She is mad. And a hit dog will always holler because if she didn't feel any type of way about these responses, she wouldn't say anything. Oftentimes, I do say that these influencers and these individuals who are tied to celebrities or have some sort of celebrity themselves, they have the right to defend themselves if they feel provoked by the public's comments about them, the public's perception, or just people downright trolling. And I still stand on that. But I do think that oftentimes their responses are coming from a place of someone giving them a reality check and them being stuck in their ways or knowing that what is being said is the truth and not wanting to accept the hard truth. The hard truth is that this man is preaching about something that he requires for you but does not require for himself so to answer whether or not India should be mad overall yes she should because his standards are clearly higher than yours and that's just the god honest truth about it but I think what people are failing to also look at is the fact that any woman willing to marry a man with multiple kids who made you the sixth baby mother prior to marrying you does not have standards and is not a man of value whatsoever like Lil Dark, I like your music but I'm on your ass like how can you require non pass around ability when you yourself move like you're for the streets the pavement the sidewalk the highway and route 66 like no like because no he himself is technically passed around financial value materialistic contributions and the public showmanship of being envied and revered you're gonna get all of that but the things that actually matter for a woman's peace of mind which is not having to share your man having your own family that isn't broken up and chopped into many divisible pieces having a father figure who isn't being pulled in so many other directions you're not gonna get 
get that. And that's what India settled for. So I commented on the post and I said, I don't think he said anything wrong because I think it's more than fair for a man or a woman, but in this case, a man to desire or want a woman who isn't tied to a bunch of men and that isn't ran through and doesn't have double digit body counts and so forth. Because if that's what women think that they deserve, then I think men can also want that for themselves. But Lil Durk is the right message, but wrong messenger. Like ladies, I do not suggest thinking that you can be ran through with eight plus kids and six baby daddies and think you'll score a Lil Durk. It's just not going to work. So again, right message, terrible and probably the worst messenger. But instead of dragging him, even though he does deserve to be called out on the hypocrisy, look more into the woman who actually felt that all of the baggage that comes with and all of the standards that he has for himself doesn't align with what he would even accept from you. And oftentimes we can say men can't fathom the nonsense that they put out, carry out and put on women, which is very true. And this is a prime example of that. I think gender roles and gender stereotypes are in place and I don't necessarily believe in shifting them all the time, but certain gender roles are how they are and will forever be that way. Men get a pass to cheat, have multiple baby mothers, be ran through and the whole nine yards, just like Lil Durk, whereas the woman, we don't get that privilege. And honestly, the only thing wrong with that are women who just say, hey, I'm just gonna be okay with accepting something that a man wouldn't accept about me. So yes, India should be turned off or upset or unimpressed by his commentary, but that's what she settled for. So I'm not gonna waste my time pulling the devil standard card when that's obvious, but it's not like India denied Dirk because of the same reasons that he would have denied her if she was any of those things. I know a lot of women like to call out men and drag men and bring men into conversations as their argument when we're talking about double standards, but the real tea is a double standard is a double standard. You can't change it with outrage. You can only change it by making sure that you're equally yoked with whatever man you're dealing with. I know some of y'all just don't like to hear me speak that truth, but that's the real deal because he is nobody else's problem but India's and that's by her choice and her choice only. So now she has to deal with that. Now point number two is how this affects young people. So as mentioned earlier, all of these examples of rapper girlfriends and just hip hop couples have been around for years. It didn't just start with G Herbo and Ari, Lil Durk and India, Lil Baby and Jada, NBA Youngboy and Jania. It didn't just start with those four prominent hip hop couples. It became more glamorized in the 2000 and teens and now we're in the 2020s. And by glamorized, I mean, of course it was showed to us back then, but it's actually become somewhat of a desirable component of being within urban society. So you can have the A-list versions of rapper couples like the ones I just mentioned, but then you have your QRS, TUV, WX, Y, and Z list versions like what you see in your local hood or your local city. Everybody knows that one Z-list couple in your city that is the bootleg version of India and Lil Durk and it's still viewed as goals, but just on a smaller scale. For obvious reasons, allowing teens and young adults to view a prominent figure in modern hip-hop and his fiance as goals although there's infidelity although there's outside babies although there's broken homes although there's violence although there are all of these negative things is deteriorating the expectations of young people it deteriorates the standards of young people that goes for both boys and girls and young women and men nowadays people will try to assume that the pretty girl with followers is supposed to be with the rapper and they live happily ever after and on a surface level that's great but when you unpack all of the different nonsensical elements within the situation, it's like, this is a bunch of malarkey. I'm not against the whole hip hop rap couple idea, but I just feel like we've never seen it done right. And right is subjective because some people might not see an issue with the dynamics of all of these relationships, but I feel like Lil Durk and India kind of have the loudest example because of how many children he has prior to her and allegedly on her, and they both amplify the negative effect. India is not really a loud mouth, outspoken, or I'm gonna show up every day type of person in comparison to some of the other rappers for baby moms. She really kind of just minds her business, doesn't really speak as much, and lets Lil Durk be the star. But in other examples, a lot of us know Jada just as much as we know Lil Baby or even knew Jada first. Or like I said, in my unpopular opinions, I think that Ari is more popular than G Herbo. But with Lil Durk in India, they really have a more peaceful connotation to their relationship. Although when you look at the nooks and crannies, it's still something that we should not be desiring whatsoever. And they further aggravated that by actually deciding to get married, which I'm very pro-marriage. And like I said, I do think they'll make it to the altar, but I don't think that their couple's goals or an example that people should live by, especially not young people. What works for them works for them, but for the rest of us regular folks, we cannot rely on this imagery to fit within our everyday lifestyles. I probably would shut my mouth if my man was one of the top paid rappers in modern hip hop and has allowed me to live the high life and even avidly promote my business. I probably would settle for this and shut up, but that's not my reality. So for the rest of us, we can't look at this as goals because we live regular lives and we are not the 1%. Us 99% would only be adding to broken homes, single motherhood, infidelity being normalized, and much more. And that should never be something that anybody young or old should be striving for or be
be seen as relationship goals whatsoever. So that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please let me know your commentary on my commentary down below. If you haven't already, please go stream my new song, Ballin'. It is out on all platforms. I will have it linked down below. Let's keep running it up. And as always, don't forget to follow me on all of my social media networks and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Me too. Give me four laps. Trace going up. Pay up. This ain't roll back. They call me Queen Chama Trigger, but baby boy, you know that. Queen Chama. And the C's, it's a cash out. WWE, I'm a big show. Smack down. Don't tell me zip. He can't handle a half pound. A big lip. Nice hips. Body looking hash brown. Ha, 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 ha. The best girls come from Nigeria. Y'all are not fitting the criteria. Black queens gon' hell. Superior. And now I'm ballin'. They phony. I'm not callin'. I'm super gone. I'm robbin'. They in my mouth. I'm flossin'. I take you out like garbage. Kill shit. Bring a coffin. I ain't with that nonsense. I'm broken and I'm pop. Not the Wayne, but I'm rockin'. They dream me, so I'm locked. They never catch me lackin'. Takin' over hackin'. He hook. I'm the captain. My pockets, I'm bombastic. Y'all bitches got a dollar in your pocket and some chapstick.